Hi guys, today we're going to do a virtual run on fresh in stock Jaguar E Pace. This is the 2 litre P250. It's the all wheel drive edition and it's finished in this gorgeous Casium blue. As you can tell, really nice blue. Looks lovely. Going on to the alloys, you've got the 18 inch multi smoke alloys finished in silver. You've got the red Jaguar centre casings as well, looking really great. Going on to the front, you've got your Jaguar LED headlights with daytime running lights. Really clear and nice lights. You've got a nice chrome finish going around the outside of the grill. You've got your nice black grill as well and red Jaguar uh, badging. Going on to the sides, you've got a chrome finish on the side vents. You've got your S badge in there too and your Jaguar engraving. You've got matching coloured wing rows to the body colour, black housing and your indicators on there too. And you've got your nice black trim going on the outside of the windows and black B pillars. Going on to the rear. A nice sport looking rear, two exhausts on either side with chrome tips um, and if we open up the boot you've got a nice electric full rear boot which is really great great boot space bit loads in there you've also got your load space cover too and if you say if you press the button the boot will close just like that really great if we go into the interior of the car Got your full leather upholstery, really comfy and nice, and really spacious. You've got your rear fans as well for your climate control, which can be just in the back, and you've got a 12 volt down there for charging or whatever you need to do. If we get into the front, fully electric seats, and you've got lumbar support as well, really nice and comfy, really nice. If you get into the car, turn the car on, it's wireless entry, stop start button, put on the brake. Turn the car on. You've got full leather steering wheel with controls on either side. So on this side, you've got your uh, different modes which you can change on your digital driving dash. If we just get rid of this. So you can uh, change that all up and change your displays. Get radio stations, uh, volume controls, everything, which is really great. If we just turn the volume down. On this side, you've got your cruise control and limiter and you've also got your heated steering wheel function as well. Going down, fully electric automatic windows, the ability to lock the rear windows, and you've obviously got electric wing mirrors too, and your central locking. Go into your media display, you've got a nice touchscreen media display, you've got your navigation there as well, you've got the car in reverse, you've got rear parking sensors and camera. If you go onto your radio, you've got DAB, FM, and AM, as you can see there. You can also connect your phone through Bluetooth and USB. You've got heated seats on either side, which you can choose through here, which is really nice and easy to use. And of course, you can just switch it up and uh, to customize it to however you like. Going down, you've got your dual zone climate control with a nice digital display showing that. And you can also change your seats like that too. So you can put your heated seats on. You've got another 12 volt there uh, to charge your phone or cigarette charger, whatever you need. And then of course, you've got your different buttons. So you've got your traction control, your automatic stop start. If you've got if you want to change the mode into uh, sport mode, you've got to be a bit more responsive. You just pull it down, um, you put it in eco mode. If you want to save a bit of fuel, like you can put it in comfort mode for a bit more normal driving. Free up front the center console, some more storage space. You've got two USB points and your SIM card point, and then obviously a 12 volt there as well. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact our sales team. And potentially, this could be your next new car. Cheers.